Hi, this is Drew Loker, and today's tutorial is uploading a photo to Sam's Club and cropping. And it's very important that the image be uploaded in the maximum size possible. I've already logged into Sam's. I'm going to click on Add Photos. Now, at this particular point, you have an option to either use the Get Photos or Drag and Drop Wizard or the Basic Uploader. With Sam's, if you just drag and drop the image here, it's going to go based on the default, which is a fast upload, and it's going to reduce your file by as much as one eighth of the original file size. So it's very, very important that you do not drag and drop. The basic uploader is the easiest way to make sure that you get the right file uploaded. However, if you want to use the wizard, click on the Get Photos, and here is where you see the normal and do not compress my files. If you leave the uh, option to choose your speed at fast and compress my files, even though it says fast up to 8 by 12 prints, remember during class we talked about that these companies want you to upload small files. It's in their best interest to reduce your file before it gets uploaded. It costs them less money to store it and it's faster for them to print the file. So lots of reasons why they don't want you to upload full-size files. We want to absolutely upload uh, the full-size file to not be compressed or resized. So we're going to click on Normal. And then we're going to navigate uh, to the Dropbox. And I've already navigated. You can see the path right here that I've already navigated to my desktop Dropbox photos and edits on my Dropbox. I'm going to scroll down and I've picked a picture to upload going to print Westbrook's Coyote. This picture was taken about 200 yards west of Westbrook in the hike and bike area. And it should be right here. So we'll click on this and go ahead and click Upload. Double checking again that it is on the normal Do Not Compress My Files. And I'm going to click Pause While It Uploads. And it's just about finished uploading. It uploaded at about 120 KB per second. And now that it's uploaded, we're going to go into a few albums. Now, I wanted to show uploading, but I've already got some images online as far as showing cropping. Now, for most of y'all, this is going to be a good review. Now, here is an image that is ready to be cropped. It's important to understand that if you upload the image directly, without cropping it ahead of time in Photoshop and saving it and have it cropped as an 8x10 you need to make sure that you take control of the cropping otherwise you're going to get a centered image. This picture of the BISD football stadium we can see that there is image to the left and to the right. Now if I click on the 4x6 crop aspect ratio and we click cancel, it's important to click out of the crop we see that even on a 4x6 that there is image area to the left and to the right. And if I click on the 8x10 aspect ratio which is the same as the 16x20 and cancel out of the preview of the crop we see that there's image area so you just have to make a decision on this. This is why sometimes it's tough to shoot for 8x10 when you know that the image is only going to appear on the internet. Since we live in such a digital presentation format days, uh, it's best, I think, to go ahead and shoot for good composition in the camera and deal with the occasional 8x10s that you may make. On this image, we see that an 8x10 crop, once again, allows us to either shift the image to the left or have image to the right. Now, generally, you're looking for good rule of thirds. So in this particular case, I'm going to pull the image back a little bit to the right so that the center of interest is on the right-hand side. On this final sample, we see a vertical. And with horizontal, uh, it's a little easier to get by. Vertical, we tend to shoot more for uh, full composition using the entire frame. And on this image right here, if we just let the computer take over, we're going to get a firework burst in the middle. But one of the strengths of this picture is the color in the water. You see there's more color down there, but we don't want to cut the top of the fireworks. Now, as I prepare to order this picture of the coyote, we're in the order box, and we see that the 8x10 has a blue mark on it, which means it needs to be cropped. As you edit your cart, you're able to crop the image, save, edit, 